Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science and the new mod exploration. Today, at the Kerbal Space Center, we found a strange signal coming from the moon. What is it? Since when it is there? There is no time to wait, let's go to the mission control room for more information about it. For this mission, 13 of the Cornet Space Program, all Kerbals agreed that it must go back to the moon to find out what is what is it, this strange signal, what does it mean? Lots of questions but without any answer. The mission is simple, find the source of this mysterious signal on the moon. And the only way to find out is to go up there. So with the moon lander C3, Jebediah Ackerman is the chosen leader for this mission.
Et voilà. Mission complete. Jupiter Ackerman did a perfect job by finding the mysterious signal and bringing home data and samples from the moon. This will help a lot of this research department and will make possible the exploration of other planets of the Kerbal system. So don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you appreciate my content, ring the bell to not miss the next episode and why not write a comment. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 12 of the Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for science and the new mod exploration. Today, at the Kerbal Space Center, we are picking up static of our Minmus, but we are not sure, so let's not wait and go to the mission control room for more information about this next mission called Bad Signal. Today, the agency will launch a probe to Minmus to make sure if it's another signal like seen on the moon. We must first get a satellite in orbit of this planet to confirm its origin. And that's why Minmus Sat 1 is ready at the launch pad number 3 for this mission 14 of the Cornet Space Program. Also, this primary mission is the first to have Minmus as a target. Will it be a success? Ok, on a aussi allumé les...
Congratulations to the Cornet Space Program who confirmed the bad signal on Minmus by having the Minmus Sat-1 in orbit. By completing this mission, the satellite was able to send some data to the Kerbal Space Center and help develop the science department. With all those data, the CSP developed some rovers technology. What a great step toward collecting more data and science. But for now, this episode is over and the mission is a success. So don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you appreciate my content and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. And why not write Minmus in the comment section? I dare you! So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 13 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey you two, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science and the new mod Exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, we are heading to launch a first probe to Minmus to find out this famous signal that was confirmed in the last mission. So let's not wait and go to the mission control room for more information about this mission, this next mission called Minmus Monument. The Minmus LSAT-1, L for landing and SAT for satellite, will be launched very soon at the launch pad number 2. This mission number 15 is simple. First, land on Minmus. Second, find the mysterious signal. And last of all, go back in orbit of Minmus to be used as a satellite. But the real question is, is there any life in the universe? It's the second weird signal found. So is the Cornet Space Program will find any life for in Minmus or anywhere else in the Kerbal system? For now, let's go for the launch of the Minmus LSAT-1.
The landing was not a complete success, but still the probe found a signal and was able to go back in space safely. The Minmus LSAT-1 is now in orbit of the planet and transmit a lot of data that will help the science department to develop its second stage of the technology trees. In fact, they developed two new technologies that could help even in space and on Kerbin. But for now, this episode is over and the mission is a success, so don't forget to subscribe, click the like button if you appreciate my content and don't forget to ring the bell to not miss the next episode. And why not write Minmus in the comment section. I dare you. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 14 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey you two, welcome to my series of Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science and the new mod exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, we have a special request. We need to put our first fuel station in space. So let's not wait and go to the mission control room for more information about this next mission called Are There Fuel Station in Space? For this mission, it was necessary to have an X264 Metalux fuel tank and at least one docking port. We have chosen to have two docking ports and we added two FL31 monopropylene fuel tank. This should not be a problem to launch our first fuel station into Kerbin's orbit. So let's not wait any longer and go for the launch with the vehicle whose name is as simple as the Kerbin fuel space station.
Mission complete. The Cord Space Program can now use this fuel station anytime they require. There is still much metal locks in the station for the future. But for now, this episode is over. So don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content. Click the like button if you want more of KSP2. And ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write fuel in the comment section. So again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week for episode 15 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey you two, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for science and the new mode exploration. Today, at the Kerbal Space Center, the agency will be launching a satellite to be in orbit around Kerbin. So let's not wait and go to the mission control room for more information about this next mission called Geostationary Orbit. What is a geostationary orbit? It is when a spacecraft appears stationary when viewed from the surface. For Kerbin, the satellite must be at 2,863 kilometers and have a speed of uh, 1,010 meters per second. The precision is important to succeed this secondary mission of the Cornet Space Program. As the mission number 17, the geostationary Cornet 1 will be launched in a few seconds.
After you completed the secondary mission and getting much higher with the apoapsis and periapsis of 6000 km, it is a complete success for the Korea Space Program. This mission is helping a lot of science department that helps develop a new technology. We can be proud of the work done at the Kerbal Space Center, but for now, this episode is over, so don't forget to subscribe. If you appreciate my content, click the like button. If you want more of KSP2 and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write 6000 in the command sections. So so again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 16 of this Kerbal Space 2 series. Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for science and the new mode exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, everyone is excited. Why? Because three Kerbals will be going to be the first one to walk on Minmus. So let's not wait and go to the mission control room for more information about this next mission. This mission is brand new and independent because by bringing home some samples and some data about Minmus, Bill, Bob and Barfrod Command could help the science department. They must come back home with souvenirs of this planet and they will only have one chance to do it. So we are now ready for liftoff as the Minmus Lander 3K is ready to go for an historical adventure. Will they succeed?
They have done it! They have land and walk on Minmus, planted a flag, took some samples and data and of course be able to come back home safely. Wonderful successful mission for the Cornet Space Program. The science department is so grateful and the crew cannot be more proud. Two new technologies were developed after this mission, meaning an important progression for the exploration of the universe. Now this episode is over so don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content, click the like button if you want more of KSP2 and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write Bob in the comments section. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 17 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey YouTube, welcome to my series of Kerbal Space Program 2 for science and the new mode exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, the mission is simple. We need to escape Kerbin's gravitational sphere and influence. And why not have a satellite around Kerbal while completing this mission? So let's not wait and go to the control room.
The only objective is to exit Kirby's gravitational sphere of influence and the Corey Space Program had this, uh, this secondary mission another purpose by making it a satellite around the Sun Kerbal. So at the launch pad number 4 everything is ready for the liftoff. This should be an easy mission, it all depends on the probe and the communication with the control room. So here we are for the liftoff. This mission was a complete success. Of course, it was an easy one. The reward wasn't great at all, but still it's a step forward. The exploration of the Kerbal Solar System. The primary mission remains Duna, the Red Planet. But for now, this episode is over, so don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content, click the like button if you want more of Key SP2, and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write Kerbal in the comments section. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for next week episode, episode 18 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Ciao ciao! 
Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science and the New Mod Exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, we are looking to have our first moon space station, or as other Kerbal says, a fuel station. So let's not wait and go to the control room. This isn't a primary mission, but still an important one if the Cortex Space Program wants to do more research on the moon. With a fuel station with docking ports, landers will be able to go on the surface and come back with data. Adu Kikerman is the leader of this mission 20. His tasks aren't easy but can be done. Orbit the moon with the station, go on the moon with the landers and gather some data and samples and come back to the station. Let's just hope as the leadoff will begin in any seconds now. Kirbin en plus en dessous, c'est vraiment nice.
en ce rat. The Moon Fuel Station or Space Station, you can call it whatever you want, is now online and in orbit of the Moon, with a periapsis and an apoapsis close enough to 115 kilometers. This mission was a complete success, and the next step is to bring a lander with Adu Kikerman as the leader of this next mission. If it worked, the Cornet Space Program could gain many advanced technologies that would help the agency to land on Duna, the next primary objective. But for now, this episode is over, so don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content, click the like button if you want more of KSP2, and don't forget to ring the bell, do not miss the next episode. This time, let's write Space Station in the comment section. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for episode 19, yeah, we already are at 19 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Ciao, ciao! Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for science and the new mod exploration. Today at the Kerbal Space Center, the agency is looking to complete the next step of the last mission. The agency right now is sending a lander to the moon with a new strategy by docking with the moon space station. So let's not wait and go to the mission control room. And here we are for this mission number 21 with Haduki Kerman as leader. The space trip will not be an easy task this time. The Cornet Space Program hopes to see Haduki and his lander dock with the Moon Space Station, go on the surface of the Moon, take samples and data, and come back to dock with the Space Station again. This will help the Science Department to develop more technologies or at least moving closer to. For now, there is no return home mission confirmed for Haduki, but with the liftoff beginning soon, let's just hope he will make it safely to the Moon.
Here we go, the lander is now attached with the moon fuel space station and the first part of the principal mission is complete. It wasn't easy, but the Cortex space program is happy to have achieved this rendezvous in orbit of the moon. Next step, let's land on the surface of the moon for more data and samples with Aduki Kikerman and his moon lander. But for now, this episode is over, so don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content. Click the like button if you want more of Key SP2 and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write Moon Station in the comment sections. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for episode 20 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series. Hey YouTube, welcome to my series with Kerbal Space Program 2 for Science and the New Mod Exploration. Today, the Cornet Space Program is looking to see his mission 21 being successful with Haduki Kerman. After he complete the docking of his lander, it is time to go to the surface of the moon. Let's hope it will be a smooth landing.
And the mission is complete. It may be a success, but there is a problem. Haruki can't come home back to Kirby with the samples from the moon, and the lander seems not to have a large margin of error to make round trips to the moon. Still, Haruki made it safely back to the Moonful Space Station, and the DDoS the can be 100% transfer from the space station to the Kerbal Space Center. Though there is one question. Will the agency do a mission to bring him and the samples back to Kirby? We don't know yet, but for now this episode is over, so don't forget to subscribe if you appreciate my content, click the like button if you want more of KSP2, and ring the bell to not miss the next episode. This time, let's write Haduki in the comment section. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for episode 21 of this Kerbal Space Program 2 series.